Hello? 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 Okay, good day to everyone. Um, today, we are going to have the part two of uh, getting the union of sets. Right? So, last time, I discussed the part one of union of sets. Now, what are we going to have today in our part two? Okay? So, stay tuned in order for you to know how to get the union of sets for the part two. All right? Okay, just a sort of recall, what is union of sets? Alright, so based from the definition last time, union of sets is the result of adding or combining the elements of two or more sets. So what we do in getting the union of sets is that we list down all the elements that are found in A and in B. Now what if... What if we are given with Venn diagram? How are we going to find the union of the set? Okay, so in order for us to find the union of set given a Venn diagram, stay tuned and let's learn. Okay, so let us have an example. Given universal set with set A and set B. Here are the elements. Find the union of A and B. So how are we going to find the union of A and B? Um, a while ago, we said that the union of A and B is uh, um, the combination of all the elements of the given sets. So what we are going to do is just to list down all the elements that are found in a and in B. So, um, we are asked to list down or get the union. So, therefore, you just write all the elements that are found in A and in B. So, titingin lang tayo doon sa dalawang bilog na yon, na nasa loob. Lahat ng elements na naandon, ilista mo yon. That is the union of A and B. So, therefore, our answer is... Um, um, do not forget na as much as possible, sana you write down all your elements in order so that um, kapag ka nag-quiz tayo or nag nagsagot kayo ng quiz natin online via Google Form or um, any, um, any apps, any interactive tool, then mas mabilis at mas accurate yung sagot ninyo. Although, kahit naman yun ay naka-rumble yung sagot ninyo, yung elements niyo sa loob, that is still correct. Okay, so let us uh, write down the elements in uh, in order na. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Lahat ng binilugan natin. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, meron pa ba tayong uh, hindi na isusulat? Meron pa. Yes, that's right. Yung nine at saka ten. Ang tanong, isusulat ko ba yun? No, kasi yung 9 at saka 10 ay nasa labas yon ng dalawang bilog. So, hindi yun kasama sa union na A at saka B. So, therefore, that is the final answer. Okay? Alright, let us have example number 2. Given universal set with two sets, set A and set B with the following elements. What is the union of A and B? To get the union of A and B, I said, to get the union of A and B, you just list down all the elements. That's it. Ang hinihingi ay yung A at saka B. So, therefore, you just list down all the elements that are found in A and in B. So, yung nandun sa loob ng dalawang bilog na yun. Therefore, our answer would be 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright? Meron pa ba tayo hindi na isusulat? Right. Yung 4 at saka 1. Hinihingi ba ang 4 at saka 1? No. Kasi ang 4 at saka ang 1 ay nasa labas ng dalawang bilog. So, you are not going to write it. Okay? Alright, let's have example number 3. Given 
Okay, I have here my universal set and three sets. The blue one, the blue circle is for my set A, the green circle is for my set B, and the violet circle is for my set C with elements there. Okay, find the union of A and B. Okay, do not be confused. Ang hinihingi ay union ni A at saka ni B. Ano ba yung uh, A natin? Ang A natin ay yung, uh, yung bilog na kulay blue. Ano ba yung B natin? Yung bilog na kulay green. So therefore, para hindi tayo malito, Tanggalin na natin yung mga hindi kailangan. Sino ba ang tatanggalin natin? Nasaan yun? Siyempre, unang-una itong 10. Hindi niyan kasama, di ba? Kasi nasa labas yan ng bilog ng A at saka ng B. Next, sino pa sunod natin tatanggalin? Si 8 at saka si 9. Bakit? Nasa labas kasi sila ng set A at saka B. Nasa labas sila ng dalawang bilog na yon. Ano yung dalawang bilog na yun? Yung A at saka B. Ang hinihinga ay yun yun ni A at saka B. Therefore, list down all the elements na natitira. So, therefore, ilista lang natin yung lahat. Our final answer would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? Question? Alright, so if you have a question, you just uh, reserve it, save it for our next meeting. Okay, next. Okay, so let us have example number four. Given, find the union of B and C if you have the following universal set with set A, B, and C. Okay, so set A, yung... Um, blue circle, set B yung uh, green circle, and set C is yung violet circle. Okay, so this time, ano naman ang hinihingi? Ang hinihingi ay union ni B at saka ni C. So therefore, you just take a look at the circle B and the circle C. So titingin lang tayo doon sa loob ng dalawang bilog na B at saka C. So, para hindi malito anong sabi ko kanina, tanggalin na natin yung elements ng mga hindi kailangan at yung matitira, yun yung sagot. So, therefore, syempre, unang-una tatanggalin na natin si 10 because wala siya doon sa loob ng dalawang bilog. And then, sino pa ang tatanggalin natin? C2. Si okay, tatanggalin din natin si 2 because it is not found inside the two circles. Okay, wala siya sa B, wala din siya sa C. So, therefore, yung matitira na mga elements, yan ang ililista natin ngayon na magiging sagot sa union ni B at saka ni C. So, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? So, that will be your final answer. Okay, next, let us have example number 5. Alright? For example number 5, you're going to find the union of A, B, and C. Okay? So, you are going to find or list down all the elements that are found in the three sets. So, titignan mo yung lahat ng elements na naandun sa bilog, tatlong bilog na yon. Yung lahat ng elements na nakikita mo sa loob ng tatlong bilog na yon, yun ang sagot. Kapag ang hinihingi ay tatlong uh, sets, yun yun ang tatlong sets, therefore, doon ka lang titingin sa loob ng tatlong bilog na yon. So, syempre, anong gagawin mo? Tanggalin mo na yung element na hindi kailangan. Sino yung element na hindi kailangan natin? Si 10. Okay? Therefore, the rest of the elements... Yan ang ililista natin ngayon sa union ng set A, set B, and set C. So, therefore, we write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? That will be your final answer. Alright? Okay, that will be all. See you in our discussion about intersection of sets.